What's up guys, it's Ezamak and welcome back to part 3 of Let's Play Starfield. When we last left off, we arrived at New Atlantis, we joined Constellation, and now we and Sarah Morgan, who is right there, have been sent on another mission to collect an artifact. If you enjoy this video, smash the like on it, subscribe to the channel, stay tuned for more Starfield. I have a nice hot cup of tea, hope you've got a nice beverage with you as well. Let's crack on and uh, yeah, go and explore some more in New Atlantis. Mmm. I'll tell you, if there's one thing I can do to make a cup of tea well, um, I've switched around some of the settings a little bit um, because I realised I wasn't hitting 60 FPS all the time, but it seems now we are, which is very nice. Sergeant, you meet. Well, we might have to have a look at that at some point. So our missions, that's another activity we've got there. But the old neighbourhood, Sarah is coming with me on my first mission. I need to speak to her contact in the UC Vanguard about a possible lead on an artefact. Uh, now, on the star map... Ah, so we have quite a few missions now. Locate the biosensors. Locate the biosensors. Talk to Sergeant Yumi. That's in the mass district. Um, fast travel to the selected location. No, we're going to walk there. Um, I swear we've got more than one mission, maybe. Talk to the bartender at Viewport. Talk to the ship services technician. Okay, well, let's walk forward for now. I keep forgetting that if you press back there... It takes you out of your star map further into the galaxy rather than, you know, just uh, backing you out of the menu. Um, it is night time in night, si not in night City. This isn't Cyberpunk. In New Atlantis. And this place looks absolutely... <clears throat> Pardon my voice today, folks. I'm so sorry. This place looks gorgeous. What I was trying to say there. Get that microphone set there. Um, okay. So this is the Mass District. And we seem to have an objective there as well. Fantastic. Man, the audio, the visuals, the game looks great, it sounds great, it feels great. Very much enjoying it so far, even though we have only just started. Is this Sergeant Yumi? Sarah, good oh, to see you. this must be her contact. Hopefully. Hello. Uh, another space explorer. Apparently hey, so. you ever think of joining up with the Vanguard? Help the United Colonies, earn some credits, even get your UC citizenship? I'm not too sure. Maybe later, we have Constellation business to discuss first. All right, all right. Can't blame me for trying, right? True. I mean, I still haven't given up on getting Sarah to re-enlist. Oh, so she's it's not part of the unit. The UN. He asks. The UC. I say no. <laughs> Here's what I got for you two. Vanguard volunteer by the name of Moera. Helps patrol the old neighborhood. Sol, Mars, Neptune, you know. The Sol system. Oh! Which admiral did he upset to get that posting? So the old neighborhood. He's Martian. He's our rate. solar system. Like our like solar system. Anyone else to care? Word is he's got some fancy metal ornament he's been showing off to the old grounders. Matches that description Sarah gave me. So probably an artifact then. Hmm. Wait, what's wrong with the Sol system? You kidding? Lowest posting request rate in the whole fleet. Only thing there the UC cares about is Mars, and no one wants to go to Mars. They want to get off Mars. Jesus. Okay. We'll talk to him. I'm sure we can make him a good offer for it. Soul system is a lot of planets. Like he gives like us Moira, it. We'll be checking in and we don't end him. On the regular. You mean hitting the bars, don't you, John? Hey, nothing wrong with a little refresh between patrols. We do love a beer. That's great. Hmm. Anything you can tell me about Sidonia? Yeah. Bring a coloring book. Get so used to seeing red, you'll forget what blues and greens look like. So it is on, yeah, on Mars, and of course. Hmm. Did Moara say where he found this ornament of his? You'll have to ask him. But Vanguard volunteers have retrieval rights if they get into a scrap. Wouldn't be surprised if he found it off of a pirate or something like that. Makes sense, makes sense. We're off to Sidonia, then. I'm serious about that recruitment offer, by the way. You just come talk to me when you're ready. You see is a good friend to have. Well, it seems so, but I'm not quite, uh, I'm not sure if that's... The way we want to go just yet. Fantastic. Ask about Moara in Sidonia. If you have an appointment, you may proceed inside. Uh, I do not have an appointment, so I'm going to go elsewhere. Um, okay. So, we obviously go back down to the spaceport, but I don't want to fast travel there. I want to know if there's a way. It might be best to fast travel there, actually. And um, that's obviously speak to Sergeant Yumi there. Is there a button to bring up a map? No, you've got to go into the menu. Talk to the ship services technician. Yeah, let's fast travel there, because we've got to go here anyway. 
we can come back and explore the rest of New Atlantis anytime we like. But for now, uh, let's get out of third person. And there it is, the frontier. Um, but where or oh where? Hey, can I ship you? services technician. Hello. And here's our new captain. My crew can take a look at your ship. And you can stop by the trade authority kiosk if you need to offload some cargo. Fantastic. I'd like to view and modify my ships. Okay, no problem. Uh, I've heard this is going to be a very expensive part of the game, so it's maybe not what we should be looking at yet. Frontier one at home ship, nice. Yeah, you can upgrade your grav, your grav drive systems, shield systems, select system. Then what do you do from there? Ship overview. So let's say if we went on to our shields. Ship upgrade mode allows you to make improvements to your ship without needing to worry about where modules should be placed. Some upgrades may have level or skill requirements. Multiple upgrades can be made and their cost will be added up at the end of the session. Okay. We're not going to dive into that just yet because I think that could get expensive. Everything uh, looks great. Good, here. I'll be at my booth if you need me. good man. Um, I believe we have a level up as well. Where do we go? Skills. You receive one skill point to spend every time you level up. Each skill also unlocks a challenge. Complete the challenge and then spend a skill point to rank up the skill. The top row represents basic skills. The rows below are locked until you have spent a minimum number of skill points in that category. Cool. So we've got physical, social, combat, science and tech. And we have two skill points to use. We start with one in pistols. We start with one in persuasion. And we start with one in piloting as well. That's great. Um, man, oh, there's so many skills. I don't know what we should be going for. Yeah. So we've got boxing, fitness, stealth, weightlifting, and wellness. Commerce, gastronomy, persuasion, scavenging, theft. Ballistics, dueling, lasers, pistol certification, and shotgun certification. We've got astrodynamics, geology, medicine, research methods, and surveying. And then we've got ballistic weapon systems, boost pack training, piloting, security, and targeting control systems. Well, we've received a boost pack, so I think if we go boost pack training. Specialized training and innovations in personal mobility systems have allowed for unfettered exploration on alien worlds. Um, you can now utilize boost packs. Yes, please. Uh, and then spend two more skill points. Target and control systems. Missile weapons are favoured because they can lock onto an enemy ship, but an intimate knowledge of tracking systems can make them even more effective. Uh, so we save that one for a little while. Uh, let's look at combat. Ballistic. Centuries of conflict have proven that when it comes to threat elimination, few things stack up to the reliable power of high-speed projectiles. And then laser. So that's laser damage, ballistic damage. Um, succeed in free speech ch challenges. Okay. Hmm. Buy for five percent less and sell for ten percent more. That's that's big. Uh, what was wellness? Uh, increase your maximum health by ten percent. That's quite good as well. Carrying capacity. Let's do carrying capacity because. I'm a loot haul, and I need to be able to carry all the stuff I can. Uh, okay, fantastic. Sarah, and here's Vasco as well. Good man. Um, I could do with you on the ship, please, Vasco. Never mind. Good man, Vasco. Cockpit of the frontier. Uh, take off. Let's do it. I love this. Taking off into that good night. Magnifique. Let's get a little screen recording of that so we can get some, uh, some screenshots. Here we are in space. Okay, right, so. Plenty of ships coming in and out there. Um, what we want to do, though, how do we get the star map up again? We can't do it from there. So that's Jemison. We want to back ourselves out. 
of the system. And salt. So we're in Alpha Centauri right now. Nice. Or Alpha Centauri. I don't know how you're supposed to say it. Um, ask about Moara in Sidonia. Sol. Set course. Uh, it's going to take hardly any fuel consumption either. Nice one. Let's do it. And now we're going to get the cool scene. Ooh. Hey, that looks so cool, man. That's awesome. You are entering United Colony space. Maintain course and prepare to be scanned. Okay. Pretty sure I've got no contraband. And that's Mars. And we're done. Enjoy Sidonia. Thank you. Hey, but first of all, let's see. Yep, here it is. It's our solar system. Earth. Hey, Earth looks screwed, man. Mercury. Venus. Earth. Mars. Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. And is that even little Pluto out there? Little Pluto! Oh. And then, of course, our sun. Wow. I like how they give you the proper, um, you know, the, the, the graph, the diagram. Um, yeah. Tell me why Earth's looking barren. Thin CO2. That's different. Okay, so back into Mars, um, and we want to, we've got a fracking station, Mars Mech Factory, another fracking station, but Sidonia, ask about Moara in Sidonia, Mars launch pad, uh, uh -huh. let's go into land, the automated weapon system skill increases your ship's turret damage, nice. The red planet that's a cool cutscene man I'll try and get out your way nice uh, get up because we did have a mission to check our ship's inventory so where or where do we do that I wonder nice so we can explore around a little bit hello Sarah and should Vasco be on board as well he's maybe down waiting for us navigation console Sick, so that's our map. Check out your ship's inventory. Keep forgetting you can't just go out like that. Um, Landing area, let's go. Oh, it is hell already. Yeah, there's Vasco, of course. How can I be of service, Captain? Uh, you just wait with the ship, Vasco. Come on, Sarah. Um, man, the atmosphere. This looks awesome. Terrifying. But awesome. Wow. It, humans have been there. Uh, we've been sending probes to Mars. Elon Musk wants to land on Mars. Here we are. The red planet. It almost looks like rust off Modern Warfare 2. <laughs> if you know, you know. Oh, okay. And then you tap it again to use your boost pack. I see. Mars's gravity, of course. Awesome. Sick. And then we just run over. Does it say how far away it is? Have I made a terrible mistake by just trying to um to run it? Should we be Is there anything we should be doing? No, it's not too far. We've got unknown. Unknown. Lots of unknown stuff. And then we're going this week. Stop going back, is it? You need to press start again. That's that, that's a frustrating bit. You can't back out. <laughs> okay, we've got light over there. That's a good sign. Uh, let's head for the light rather than the objective, I think. That boost pack's really cool. I'm assuming once we get better boost packs and level up our skill, we'll be able to boost for longer and further. All that good stuff. But for now, wow, here we are. I forgot, um, I switched all my controls, and now I can't remember, I put them all back to default, because it was bugging out, and now I can't remember how to use my, um, scanner, LB. There we go. We've got lead around. So can we mine this lead? Possibly. Possibly. 
Maybe not. Nah, we're not getting any lead from that, are we? Let's put our gun away before we uh, upset someone. And then see what else we can't find. Okay, cool. So we are going the right way by following the light. I knew we were. Get our pistol out just in case anything goes down. Look at this place. Mars obviously big on its mining. By the looks of things. What's that, Sam? So cool that you can just watch ships taking off and landing as well, even when you're not in space. Man. Got some solar panels there, we see. Hey, what, you look alien almost, that kind of tower there. Wow. I can't believe we're here, man. It, every little thing I see about this game so far just has me giddy and excited. Sidonia, location discovered. Beautiful. And a level up, that's huge. So we've got another ship here. I wonder if we could steal it. That might be worth having a look at. Where are you sprinting to, big man? Okay, we could do with our flashlight. Hello, stranger. Word of advice. You see Marine. Don't mess with Marine. Hey, I, I wasn't gonna, Chief. You've been awfully um, presumptuous. Mining colony of Sidonia. So, to main airlock. Let's get a little screenshot of that. Let's do it. Get ourselves in the airlock. And see what Sidonia has to offer. Central hub. Here we are. Deep on Mars. Welcome to Sidonia. Humanity's stepping stone to the stars. Mars obviously being the first planet that um, would have been colonized. Hello. Booth. Sergeant Booth at your service. If you have a security related concern, bring it up to me. Will do, Chief. Is there a lot of crime in Sidonia? Not if I've got anything to say about it. Good man, that's the attitude. Though, I don't know if it's because everyone's too busy working or if it's because of the military presence, but crime's pretty low. We get the occasional drunken brawls, petty thefts and stuff, but Sidonia ain't exactly a hotbed of crime. We're not Neon. Okay. Neon? Mm. No need to be rude and ask about his name like that. Alright. So. Here we are. You and security. You all just going to be citizens there. Prospect. Trevor Petre. Too many conversations going on right now. Welcome, welcome. Nice to meet you. Name's Trevor. Hello, Trevor. I am Mac. Demos mining project here in scenic underground Sedonia. Hello. I could spare a minute or two to chat. So long as you're not looking for mining work, I suppose. Why would it be a problem if I was looking for mining work? Hmm. So you must be the boss around here. Yep, that's me. Joined up with Deimos when I was just 17 as a mining gopher. Go for this, go for that. You know how it is. Yep. I worked hard, proved myself capable, and got the promotion to mining director about six years ago. After Good man. Boss retired. Some of the older guys resent me, but I give everyone a lot of leeway as long as they meet their quotas. Cause that keeps them happy enough. Have, have you not? Just, have you not just heard that, Chief? What the fuck was that? You don't give a damn. Anyway, I, I used to do mining work for Argos. I was hoping you'd have work, but it doesn't sound like it. Argos, huh? Yeah, I've heard of them. That's great, but yeah, unfortunately, all our mining contracts are filled right now. Yeah, it seems so. It seems Unless, so. Maybe you could help me out with a job, off the books. Off. Oh, Hello, can I can I help you? That was weird. <laughs> off the books, eh? Hmm. Depends on what it is, but let's hear what you've got. Great. I promise it's nothing that'll get anyone in any kind of trouble. I can handle See, trouble. You might have noticed that our equipment ain't exactly holding together like it used to. Problem is, we can't get new equipment unless we start exceeding our quotas. And we can't do that until we get new equipment. A real dilemma, right? An endless cycle, I see. I've got a plan for solving our little problem, though. Hmm. Sure, tell me the plan. Okay. Glad you're still on board. 
First, I need someone from the outside to bolster our yield so we can prove that we can exceed our quota. Okay. I'll fill you in on the rest of the details after you've hauled up some more. One standard quota should do. I need to know I can trust you with the easy stuff first. Sure. Are you sure you're not just exploiting me for free labor? Of course not. I'll pay you out of my own pocket. I like I that. About my miners, even if corporate doesn't understand our struggles down here. I'm willing to put in some sacrifices to help. That's just the kind of guy I am. If I had the credits to buy all the equipment myself, I would. But this is the next best thing. I believe you. Why not just hire more miners? Yeah. Don't you think I want to? Corporate sets the contracts and they're not giving out anymore. So we work with what we've got. Okay. Something to do with insurance, benefits, and uh, other liabilities. So I don't make the rules. Sounds easy enough. I'll do it. When you've got enough, to get paid. Been over there for processing. Then come see me. Okay. So we've to mine up some stuff. How's the scene go? Tracker's Alliance agent. Um. Okay. Broken spear. We found ourselves a bar. How's it? We have. Let me through. So that's, I'm guessing that little red symbol means stealing. Let's see what kind of view we get from this bar. A uh, big one. Nice. EM weapon specialist. Oh man, there's so many people. Hell of a view. It's a nice, nice drinking platform. Oh, bartender. Jack. Let's get a drink before we ask. I'd like a drink. What's your poison? See what you got, Chief. Bye, what you got all. Bur <laughs> packaged bourbon. Dark lager. Drink oh wow, you literally get a sippy cup of beer. Uh you got any normal lager? I don't mind a pills either. Murder brown. Murder brown light. Hmm. Let's go for a light. I'll buy one of them. Sure. Cheers, mate. Uh, any local rumors? Plenty. But if I went blabbing them to any rando that walks into my bar, no one would ever tell me anything around here. That's a good point. You don't do this job for 45 years by losing your customer's trust. That's a good point. You're right. I meant no offense. See? That's what I'm talking about. You give respect... You get respect. I'm glad you understand. So you're gonna tell me these rumors now? I'm looking for a vanguard named Moara. He ain't been around. Went off on patrol. Hasn't been back in since. We're starting to think it might be time to pour one out to the Blackest Sea. Blackest Sea? Is that? I'm guessing that's for endless night. Um. Hmm. Space isn't kind to the lost. He's in trouble or worse. Sounds about right. Yeah. Look, nothing more I'd love than to help out a fellow Martian. Especially one that's missing. But. <clears throat> you know more than you're letting on. He has a tab, and you don't know if he's coming back. <laughs> it's a lot of credits, okay? I let it slide for a long time because he's a regular, but if I'm out all that money. I got problems. What do you say? Are you trying to make me pay off his tab? He could need help. You shouldn't put a price on that. Come on. Life on Sidonia ain't hard enough. You're gonna guilt trip me? Yes, your companion can speak on your behalf. What they will say is written next to their name. To persuade a person, you need to make successful choices. Choices can range from kind words to distractions to threats. Each choice has a difficulty. The higher the difficulty, the greater the chance for choice fails, but the more points you'll earn when you succeed. You have a limited number of choices you can make, but you can never fail if your last choice succeeded. Okay. Hmm. Nobody will ever know you told me, I promise. I'd like to tell you. I really would. Oof. What matters to you more than money or Mawara's life? Yeah. I'll get your point. All right. Hey, look at that. I like that. Just trying That's to good. Living here. Last time he was here, Mawara kept yelling about the lady of love. Just singing songs. 
all that kind of thing. Venus? That's only one planet. Hardly an entire patrol route. I got what I got, okay? It's a big planet to patrol. Well, any planet's big to patrol by yourself. We'll make do. Okay, thank you, Jack. I appreciate that. Go to Venus. Oh, my God. It's not easy. I can imagine not. Uh, any anyone interesting here we should speak to? to? Any openings? Ooh. EM weapon specialist. What's your area of expertise? If your ship is equipped with an electromagnetic weapon, I can use it to fry your target systems. Sick. Uh, well, at least we know there's someone here we can hire. Andromeda Kepler. Hello, traveler. Will you join me for a while? You strike me as someone with an interesting story. Call it scholar's intuition. Okay. Sure, let's talk. Meeting a kindly stranger is always a blessing. What brings you to Sidonia? Hmm. May I ask you the same question? You may. I just finished a circuit of the soul system. I've been studying Galileo lately, and I wanted ah. to pay tribute to the planets that inspired him. Okay. I'm just sightseeing. Sightseeing on Mars. My intuition about you must have been correct. Most stop in Sidonia for the strong drinks at the Broken Spear. Well, I, I picked up a beer as you well, of be course. More interesting than most people. Wouldn't you like to know? It seems like you are too. Maybe we should travel together. I appreciate the sentiment. Consider my interest piqued. I'd be happy to join you. I have a feeling this will be a fruitful partnership. Awesome. Are you willing to pay? I dislike uh. taking money from friends, but I'll need some credits to stow my ship at Sidonia's spaceport. I'll work to make it up to you, naturally. How much are you going to go? What? We'll come, time, then. we'll come back to it. Okay, so we can pick up crew and a... She seems like a, more of a companion than a crew member. Or maybe she's just a really expensive crew member. All right, all right, all right. So it's good to know that the bars, you can pick up um, crew members. Hello, Chief. Aren't you adorable? Okay. happening again okay let's uh let's explore a little bit more i think before we um you know before we go to venus do your part to keep look at this place i'll try i can't imagine being cramped down here choking on the fumes and the dust trade off for it that's where we sell cargo octai nba commerce never rests so if you wouldn't mind no worries pal don't you worry about it How's Hello it? there. Can I help you? Yo, hey, what's up? You looking to do some shopping here at the Trade Authority? Why not? I'm here. Let's I'm do Manaki. it. Feel free to ask me anything, and I'll do my best to help you out. Okay, Manaki. Hmm. Can you tell me more about the Trade Authority? Oh man, no, I'm still new here, so I don't know how qualified I am <laughs> to answer that. Fair. We're like this huge network of shipping and trade throughout the known universe. Everyone, free stars, you see. Even Varun uses us in some capacity. Because I guess we're all about free trade for all. Respectable? <laughs> Yo, I wouldn't be surprised if we bought and sold from the Crimson Fleet, right? We keep hearing about this fleet that salary. attacked us. So as far as I'm concerned, they're all right in my book. They tried to kill me. Hmm. What's the strangest thing you've seen come through here? Yo, this dude came in once <laughs> trying to sell this whack-looking fish or something. It was still alive. He had it in this big plastic bag full of water and everything. Good size, too. Sick. I was trying to tell him I didn't know if we took in things like that, but then my boss came over and told me we absolutely did. And I had to process the sale and store the thing. Okay. <laughs> Man, what a pain in the ass that was. Even weirder, someone came in and bought it, like, right away. The hell's that about, right? Yeah, that's like someone's planted it there. And someone's came and picked it up like a drop off. I'm looking to make a cool. trade. That's what we do here. Weird fish thing. I'll we'll have to keep our eyes out for weird fish things. Uh, buy. What can I buy? Ooh. Guns. Equi That's pretty sick. Yeah, I, I, I pre ordered the, um, the premium edition, so I believe I get skins for stuff, but I don't know how to put, like, put them on. I might have to look into that. Rattle. Nice. So, oh, okay. So, that little sign up there, my camera doesn't go that high. 
but um, next to where it says physical 11, that's obviously a ballistic sign, and that's an energy sign. Okay. Uh, resources. Copper, cos... Uncommon organic resource. This item can be used as a component in craft. Okay. Uh, I don't think we need to buy anything just yet. Let's actually Sounds sell like some plan. stuff. I can also take stuff off your hands too, if that's something you're interested in. Awesome. Uh, I know we've got most of our stuff back in the stash, but we can oh, modified mills. Composite compensate at large magazine. Well, let's sell the normal one then. Select amount. So I have seven maelstroms. Okay. Five Grendels. Three Eons. Six Rescue Axes. It's no wonder I'm encumbered. <laughs> I didn't know I had that much stuff on me. That's our spacesuit. We can't be selling that. Yeah, we'll just keep our normal one for now. Keep them as well. Notes. We should probably read them notes, you know. It's maybe a good idea. Um... You know, I don't know if we can use them. Sell from ship inventory. Okay. Cool. See you around. Nice. Yeah, we'll, I will see you around, Chief. Don't you worry about that. And then we've got more stuff down here as well, eh? Well. Anything going on up here? Oh, really? Ah, oh, there's too many conversations. Well, it appears like we are out of time. So, I am going to call the episodes there, folks. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you did enjoy. If you did, make sure you smash a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned for more Starfield. And we will see you probably tomorrow for some more. Thank you very much again, guys. I have been Ezra Mac. Peace.